Last Wednesday at 4.40 a.m., I got robbed. This is that story. Well, what do I do? Like, do I call the cops? Yeah. What's your name, sir? My name is Matt Norloff. Okay, I'm gonna get a deputy to come by then. This is uh, 4 a.m., 4.40. That one's not going to go. Got a list of suspects. What? Are you this serious? <sighs> What's up, Team Rar? Today's video is like not one that I wanted to make. This is not something that's very fun. And you guys know me, I love making fun videos. This is definitely not that. Um, so we got robbed. We had people break into the house, steal a bunch of stuff, felony larson, cops, detective. Lots of people are involved on this one. It's, it's really, um, really a serious situation that we're dealing with right now. Uh, we missed one of our uploads recently. Uh, it's been taking up a lot of time. It's been a huge headache. It's been scary. It's been dangerous. And I wanna bring you guys up to speed on everything that we're going through right now and the whole story of exactly what is going on. So this video is going to be this story of what we've been going through the past couple of days. What all started on a regular Wednesday, we woke up, we're getting the cameras ready, we're ready to go out and start like filming a fun video. I get a strange text where Matt's like, yo, where's my ATV? And he sounded pissed and Matt never gets mad. And so that is when we figured, hey, something might not be right. Let's put like the vlog cameras down and let's go like look at the security cameras. And that is when our stomachs tied into a knot and we were like, OMG. Did they take anything else? That's all that I see that's missing right now. Luckily, they left some of the more expensive stuff in there, but that thing wasn't cheap. Why wasn't that one door locked? I just haven't been really talking things. So. Wait, what? How did they, they just take your ATV? Well, what do I do? Like, do I call the cops? Yeah, no. call the cops. I mean, what else would have been could have been stolen? Maybe just the ATV alone. They probably didn't have trailer space to take Is there other stuff. Going out of the garage? What? Are you serious? Dude, what? You can kind of see them though. Yeah, right you there. could. That's the only clip we got, really. Is right he there. serious? Dude, that was like a $6,000 ATV. Like, uh, I was gonna sell it to him too. What can I, like, I don't even know what to do. But that means they brought a truck. How did that and then their bottleneck is just how much they can fit on their truck. Like, is my dirt bike still here? Like, oh, what else is missing? Are you serious? 100%. Yeah, it's not there. But it was parked next to my Raptor. Yamaha's gone. After seeing that footage, that's when we started to realize the ATV is definitely missing. Where is Liz's dirt bike? And what else might be missing, broken, or completely messed with? That's when we decided to pick up the phone and call the cops. What's your name, sir? My name is Matt Norloff. Okay, I'm gonna get a deputy to come by there in a couple minutes so they can take a look at that uh, surveillance also, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Matt's on the phone with the police filing a police report. My first instinct is like, who stole from us? Maybe it's someone that lives, like one of the neighbors. So Liz, Andrew, and I, we hopped in the car and we just kind of did a lap. We just wanted to like snoop around, just see what's going on, and just maybe we would find something. Good morning, Chris. Good morning. We got uh, robbed last night. This morning, 4 a.m., two dudes came in, got an ATV stolen this morning, and a little dirt bike. Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. That's right, yeah. We... You've never had anyone steal anything? Thanks, guys. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Meanwhile, the cops finally showed up, and Matt started talking with them and walking them through exactly what we thought happened, which was there's at least one ATV stolen, and we don't know what else. So this is at 4 a.m., 4.40. Push your eyebrows is one thing I can notice, but this guy's got more features. You can it's see him. red. You know, dress like a lot of hair in the back. Try and go back, see if you can see their hands or if they were wearing gloves. Oh, that one's not wearing gloves. Yeah, I don't think either of them had gloves. This police officer was incredible. He was so amazingly helpful, fast to respond, and he even brought a fingerprint dust kit, which is like something out of the movies. And he started dusting for fingerprints to see if we could peel like a thumbprint or something and then scan it into the system. I mean, it blew my mind what he was able to help us with. This is our best bet. Is this got unlocked? I can't touch it but you pull it that way, and if there's a thumbprint or fingerprint and his fingers are in the system, that would be a way to 
catch who did this. It should be definitely crazy. definitely is not their first time either. Yeah. You know what I mean? So they might be in the system. We wrapped up with the police and here is what we know at this point. Matt's ATV, a Yamaha Raptor, was stolen and worth about $8,000. Liz's dirt bike also got stolen and that was worth a few thousand dollars as well. We don't really know what else happened since we didn't have footage inside the garage, but we're gonna continue to search. Later that night, I get a text from Andrew, and he thinks that he might have found the guy who robbed us. We don't have a lot of information to go off, but this screenshot here of the guy who broke in shows that he is a skinny tall guy with like black dreads that come down about shoulder length. And this guy working at the restaurant seems to fit the description, but it's hard to say. Being recently robbed, we're pretty on edge, and we're willing to go talk to anybody and just try to learn any information. So we drove over to the restaurant to talk to the manager and just feel things out just to see what might be up. We're just gonna be trying to collect as much information, be detective. We're looking for evidence, yeah. And we're gonna see if uh, we can just find these ATVs and dirt bikes. We're operating our investigation off of one of two possibilities. The first possibility is that these guys are long gone, they're not from the town, they're not from the area, no leads, nothing, it's not possible. That's not what we're going off of. We're thinking, statistically speaking, what happened last night was due to someone who lived in what we believe is probably a 15 minute radius of here. I think that most crimes like this happen a lot closer than you think, and sometimes it's even like a close neighbor. So we're going to be exploring the town, just kind of driving around, scoping it out, just see what we can see. See if there's anything at all to learn. There might be nothing, but I think it's worth kind of cruising around town late at night and just see if anything looks interesting to us. Pull in right here. I want to see if Dreads is still here. Is that Dreads? I need to get a front profile on his face. I just feel like he's working in a part role right now, and I don't see a guy working in a part role doing some kind of like we staked out the restaurant like true detectives. We waited for it to close and the manager to come out so we could ask him a few questions just to see what's up. Yeah, we had two guys roll up on us last night. Stole an ATV and a dirt bike at 4 a.m. this morning. So just kind of yeah. screen grabs. We have two guys, this dude, and then there's this guy. I don't think it'd be him. I've known yeah. him for about a year, over a year now. Really, I appreciate your help. Based off what the manager says, I believe him. I don't think the guy working there had anything at all to do with the crime, but it was worth asking and exploring our options but now we're back to the drawing board and just waiting to see what the detective has to say. The next morning, Liz and I are on the way to the airport because we have a wedding to go to, which is a little unfortunate because we're so on edge. And Matt's driving and he gets a call from the police department detective saying that he has potential suspects. We have suspects on the ground at the premises at a certain date and time. Um, I was at the house, two friends, who I live with, we're there. So what was he trying to say? He has a plan. Well, he has like a, he's got a list of suspects that were nearby and That's seemed to meet cool. the description no. based on phones and he saw. GPS so that now is. he's gonna look at our footage and the exact time <laughs> that they were there and see if it lines up. And if it does, we might have some people to go That's knock on the door of. That's crazy. That's crazy. Unfortunately, Liz and I have to literally catch a flight. We're leaving the state, so it's gonna be really hard to continue this detective work. But Matt and Andrew are gonna be on the ground and continue working with the cops as they come back over to the Timor house today. As you would imagine, all the neighbors were asleep at 440 and didn't hear or see anything except for one neighbor. He said he actually saw the robbery take place and he agreed to come here to the Timor house to do an exclusive interview as long as we keep his identity private. So I get up pretty early uh, to head into Raleigh for work. Uh, it's around uh, 4.35, 4.40 or so. I'm pulling out of uh, our neighborhood and I take a right and I see a car in the middle of the road with no lights on. Uh, and then I uh, see the brake lights start to tap on it like they're hitting the brakes or trying to get it into gear. And then the car takes off pretty slow. It was kind of unusual for me, so I flick my brakes on and I kind of catch up to that car. But as I'm catching up to that car, I notice that there's a truck on the side of the road uh, with a little heat U-Haul trailer on it. But I continue following this car. It looks like they're trying to find a place to turn around. They're not really driving, but they're sort of just going down the road sort of slow. So I'm right up behind it, and uh, all of a sudden, he slams on the brakes, turns the blinker on like they're going to turn into a, a house, but they don't actually turn. They just kind of stay in the middle of the road waiting for me to go around. But it was very suspicious to me, so I just stayed right there with my bright lights on them uh, and actually picked up my phone and made sure the screen was illuminated so it looked like I was calling or recording them 
them. And then the car starts to pull off into the drive a little bit more. And uh, I actually go on around it. And then I actually stopped and kind of watch what the car did after I pulled past it. And it did a turn in the road and then went back up to where the truck and the U-Haul trailer were off the side of the road. And about what time did you see all that happen? I left my house at probably 4.35. And by the time I pulled on the it was right about 4.40. Guys, this is not good. Someone broke into the Timar house. Not this house, but the one in LA. And technically, I still have that one under my name for a few more days. And I just got a call that someone broke in. Apparently, our LA house got broken into. It says the house was previously the home of a prominent YouTube personality. The house was oh vacant gosh. and moved out. Whoa. Let's see what the news That's says. Crazy. Story police on the west side are investigating two overnight crimes at multi-million dollar home. That's the house. On both investigations. Oh my god, the house on the house. Good morning. I can't. It's surprising that these homes were hit. This home behind me, it has a gate and then appears to have a security system as well. And reported that YouTube star lived here until very yeah. recently. Yeah. 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 Police didn't find anyone inside when they got there, but they said jewelry was taken. <gasps> it's believed the suspect may have fled on foot on a fire access road but investigators are still trying to determine exactly how that suspect or suspects got in. They believe cameras might help with this oh investigation. Gosh. At this time, there is no suspect. That's like the third time. <laughs> oh my third god. Oh. So the old Jumar house got broken into like yesterday and it's on the news. So he Does said, Carter no, not yet. He's not oh here. He said that the police was there because someone was coming in and sleeping there at night and he knew the home was vacant. You never know what people are thinking. We did not catch him, but he was entering through windows and like sleeping there for a few nights. Oh my gosh. What? Tom was staying there. Is this Bailey? <laughs> Imagine that's Bailey. <laughs> I'm or sleep. like Ryan or Stowe, they're just like sleeping there for the night. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't catch anyone though. That's so, so weird. Like, I just feel like that whole time I was there alone, I was being watched, and that's really creepy. Yeah, yeah, that's um, creepy. I was the only one there for like the second week, so oh my god, I feel like I was being watched for the past two weeks, and I'm really like freaked out about it. Like a yellow taxi. Like a yellow taxi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're lying. No, this is literally a taxi outside. A yellow taxi? So confused right now. That's a green truck. Where do you wait? Where's the taxi? It's right there. <laughs> Why is there a taxi? Where'd it go? It's right there. I don't know. Am I supposed to be somewhere? He literally says for Carter Share to go here. No. <laughs> wait, where are you trying to take him? 8833 Olympic? For who? For who? Carter. I, dude, I'm not kidding. I have no idea what this is. Are you trying to prank me? I am not trying to prank you, though. We, none of us, none of us ordered a taxi here. That's, maybe they ordered it for the wrong person. Do you have your cards here? <laughs> what the heck? I think you should get in and go. Just go to. What Just, was the address? Be spontaneous. Be spontaneous. <laughs> You're giving you a free limbo. What was the address? <laughs> 8833? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't think, I think this must be some kind of mistake. Like, no, no one in this house ordered this taxi. <laughs> this is a joke. Did Liz order it? No, Did Liz order it? Even here. no I'm not supposed to be anywhere. Well, thank you. Sorry about that. What? That's so confusing. I figured he had something like planned. No, not me. That's, right. that's just, not a, that's not us, right? Like he didn't ring nope. the doorbell. Like he just like sat there. No, he just rolled up while we were sitting right here talking. And he's like, for Carter. He went for Carter. I was like, hey, I was like, hey, you waiting for somebody? He's like, yeah, for Carter share. The following footage you were about to see comes from the Team Rar security footage database. This footage took place 11-14-2020.
Wow, okay guys, so I am actually a little bit shook to find this. We went through hours of footage because these cameras roll 24 seven, seven days a week, just year round recording and recording. And so we literally went through so much footage, but we found this on 10, uh, October 14th. And somebody is walking through and it's hard to say what exactly they do. And they also open the gate, not climb the gate, which is different. Uh, but it just feels sketchy and then they go over to the Hummer. I don't really know what to think of it. Um, so I'm just gonna go ask Ryan because it looks like, can you go back on the footage, rerun the footage, Joe? This was the one thing that I noticed. Where does he come from though? He comes from the street, but look, uh, go back a little bit. Look, that's Ryan's car, right? Is that not Ryan's car? I'm pretty sure, I can't really see the license plate, but that looks like his car. And he does park there sometimes. And this person also walks up to the gate. I can't see his face. Is he wearing a ski mask? Oh wait, look, he's got a ski mask on. That's really sketchy. Okay, and then the gate opens. So either somebody opened the gate for this person or they had gate access. And then the gate opens and they walk through. And then it's hard to say what happens after. They kind of just go into the driveway and then leave, I guess. I don't know. Um, but. That, that's definitely Ryan's car. So I'm gonna ask Ryan if he thinks that's his car. I'm gonna go grab him. Yo, Ryan. Credit card. Okay, um, Mom, can I show you back in 15 minutes? Sorry, I'll call you back in 15. Okay, bye. Sorry. You're talking to your mom? Yeah. Uh, can I show you something? What? what? Just, uh, I where, just- Where are we going? Ended the uh, office. Is everything okay? Yeah, yeah, and everything's fine. It, though, I mean, for the most part, but and I'm gonna preface this that I'm not, I just, you know what, I'm not gonna say anything. I just wanna show you because um, okay. I'm trying to make sense of something that I found. Okay. This is like a prank? What is, what is that? <laughs> Why'd you put it back on the Hummer? <laughs> I didn't. Okay. You didn't even, you did that. You, you okay. didn't. Then, I did not, I did not, I swear okay, to God. Okay, then just tell me who did it. Bailey. Though. Bailey put yeah, it there? He was, he was taking a photo of, he was doing something with your limo. He wants a photo of your face. I know. I'd it I'd, really I'd, suspicious. <laughs> okay. Well, let me just. Oh my gosh, guys. What's up? All right, well, just check out this, uh, this clip that I found. Just go ahead and sit down. Okay. And then Jeppy got the, uh, the footage, right? Yeah. All right, so we've got a security camera on the gate, right? First, before we play, do you think, is that, is that your car? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. I can't deny that is my car, yeah. Yeah, I can't, because I can't tell the you license tell, plate. But that is definitely, it's either my car or a car that looks just like it. I mean, I do know that you do have access to cars that are identical to mine. Not really. <laughs> Anyways, okay, play the footage. Actually, speed up a little bit. What day right. is this? So play the footage. Wait, this, this is, is like the 14th. So someone walks out of your car <laughs> wearing like a mask or something and then opens the gate. And I know you have access to the gate. I mean, I do as well. How would they, how did this person open the gate? I'm not sure. Maybe someone opened it for them. I don't know. That's why I'm not trying to say anything. I'm just showing. All right. So then the person walks over to the Hummer. And then I'm not really sure what they're doing, but. Are they underneath the Hummer? Then they go like underneath the Hummer. Why? Um, well, I, I can't. You can see their feet kind of. And then anyways, we skip forward because they go under and then the person comes out kind of like hiding their face. So anyways, they look up. Well, it's not the best quality, but it does get crisp right there. <laughs> Who is that? Cause that looks like someone. Yo. I'm telling you, it's not me. What do you mean? I'm, I'm not trying it's to- not, It's not me, Marcus. Okay, well, I'm not trying to accuse you. I'm just saying- I'm not trying to accuse you. You're literally showing this footage in front of everybody. Okay, it's security- No, Ryan. Hey, hey. It's just the security footage. Bro, I'm done. Footage doesn't lie, Ryan. It's just, it came off the cameras. I'm just trying to show you what's going on. Someone was under the Hummer and then it broke the next day. Ryan. Yo, where are you going? Also, where did you park? Ryan. I don't know if that's sketchy or not. I'm not trying to accuse people because I know you guys don't like it when I accuse, but like, guys, look, I have the security footage. <sighs> Two days earlier, what happened to your car? I don't know, Matt came out and said, <laughs> I have this thing missing. I heard you say that, but I didn't know what you I meant. Yeah, you I was like, does this car look like this? Did you actually haven't noticed that? No, I didn't notice it until now. After. I don't think it was like that like a few days ago. So good. this isn't a prank, this is real. Did you hit a hard pothole or something? 
That I might have. Oh, it's like scraped it's scraped right, right here. I might have caught on that. And maybe it like knocked it loose. Is it in the street right but now? But then you would have ran over it. You would have heard I'd something. I would have heard it too, yeah. So Unless that, you were pulling. Unless like someone like came in with like a tool. And like put a wedge. The no, there's no incentive to pull just that piece off of a car. Saying. It probably... Well, let's put it this way. There is a chance it's Ryan. I'm not blaming him. I'm just saying, theoretically, there is a chance that this was Ryan. Is he in the limo? Yeah, he's in the limo. Why is he in the limo? That's kind of sketchy. What did you do to Stove's car? What happened to Stove's car? It's damaged. What did is you? It actually. What well, do you have it? I heard. I literally saw someone hitting his car earlier today. Uh oh. Yeah, with their like literally like bumped him. I told him. What oh do you yeah. Mean? yeah. Wait, what? Someone bumped him with their car. What do you mean? Like when he was on the and, road. And, 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 Oh. And Stove's car was parked on the road? I was like, wow, Ryan. I knew you were lying. <laughs> Ryan lies. Ryan. I mean, you kind of had me. But you do I lie to me. me. You, you me. do lie to me every day. I but. lie to you? Who broke your Hummer, Carter? I don't know. Who, bro who broke your Hummer, I will get Carter? to the bottom of it, Ryan. I will get to the bottom of it. Yo, I wasn't even there. What do you mean? I have f you were in the video. <laughs> Sorry, that doesn't mean that I did anything. Well, it doesn't mean that you didn't. Yo, this logical fallacy needs to stop. What happened to so far? Wait, hang on. I, Ryan, fallacy? you know what? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Yo, do you see that? What? There's something under the armor. Can you grab that? Yo, Ryan, did you leave your sock under here? Huh? Is that your sock? It's a freaking... Basement. Yo, Ryan, is this your sock? Your name Why would it be under my Hummer? Well, wait, what happened to your car? Yeah, what happened? I don't know. I think Ryan knows. I think Ryan. I think Ryan knows something. He's been messing with. Yeah, he, he said a truck hit it outside, and he saw it, and never told anyone. What? That's what he I, said. Okay, like, why would you not tell me if you saw a truck hit my car? You actually playing along with this? Because is your car actually broken, or you just do this for the video? No, it's actually oh, broken. Matt, why, why would I impale my own bumper? Why would I? You got here after me. Right, this is really sus. I really don't know what to make of all of this stuff going on. I feel like just when we thought the dust was about to settle, all of this is hitting the fan. I don't know who to blame. I don't really want to blame anyone. I don't know who's responsible for this. I don't know what's going on. And I feel like we're all largely being affected and it could potentially be someone that's not even on Team Rark. Trampoline towers are completely ruined so I haven't had a chance to film anything. I've been dealing with the cops and I just recently had to go to Hawaii because I planned a vacation with Liz over a month ago so I couldn't miss that over the holidays. And now that I'm back, things aren't any better. This is still ruined, everyone is still gone and the only people that are here are Bailey, Dom, and Toad. <laughs> This trampoline meant everything to me, man. This is for the viral videos I'll never get anymore. You know, I've always wanted to be here. This is my first time in the Team Raw house, and I've always wanted to jump on this tower, and now it'll just, it'll never happen. <sighs> I didn't even get to jump off the top, ever. These guys have been here for three days mourning over this thing because that trampoline tower has meant everything to them. And now it is time to find the security footage and get to the bottom of what is going on and find out who did this once and for all. Things are not adding up. Ever since that was destroyed, everyone has been gone. Like literally MIA out of the state. I've been calling Hunter and Andrew nonstop and they have not been answering. And the first day that the trampoline got destroyed, Hunter sent me this clip. Yo guys, I'm leaving LA. I'm about to get on a flight and fly back east. Carter, I can't tell you why, you just gotta trust you, man. But I had to get out of LA. I mean, they are still there, guys, just mourning over this thing. I feel so bad for them. They haven't left in days. Not only is Hunter's clip super sketchy, but Andrew is the only one that knows how to hack into the security system, which is in the basement, and he has been MIA and definitely out of the state. Oh, hey, Matt. Hey, you ready to get crack it in the system? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Why? Wow, you're so crazy. I freaky. found it. It's right here. This is the security system. Does it work? The team bar house is pretty old, and so is the security system, and it's down here in the basement, and Andrew is the only one that knows how to log in, but he hasn't been answering his phone, which is really sketchy, so I'm going to see if I can just crack in and get the security footage for myself. I feel like if those cameras were running, we'll be able to find out who did it by looking through the lens. This system is super old and crazy, and Andrew is the one that knows how to run this thing and set it up so to me it's super suspect that he is MIA out of the state and not answering his phone. Oh 
Whoa. I'm no hacker, guys, but I think we just got into the system. Let's see what we can find. Matt, that is disgusting. We need to get out of this basement. It's like a dungeon. We got the footage. Okay. Let's go look at the security footage and see what we can find. Oh, it smells. Oh. This is it. We were able to retrieve all of the security footage that was recorded the night of all the destruction. We have it uploaded here onto the iPad. This is my first time ever looking at it. So we're going to start with camera number one, the front door. So the way this one works is it sits above the front door of the house and it looks out front. You can see the crazy skeleton creature that we have yeah, out there. Whose car is that? I think that's my car, but that always sits here. That's okay. the big navigator. So as we look through the first part of the front door camera, through the trees, I think this is how they broke in. But look at all these people. It's oh, whoa. And that's whoa, it. Whoa, 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 what? And then... It goes black. That's all. That's all. It goes it, black. That's all it captures. It doesn't Wait, record. What do you mean? It only records when it sees motion. What? So you can see all of these people in their flashlights. Dude, how many are there? Like six? I think oh, that's wait, your look best. Look at that. Look at that's that. That's your best frame. Yo, what is that? He's got teeth. But look how they're moving. They're kind of like popping on their legs. It looks like some kind of gorilla activity. It's hard to say. I don't know. Super weird. But they're all like looking super somewhere. weird. So now we're back at the pool. This might be our single best camera. I'm so thankful. I didn't even rolling. know this camera existed here. And you can see they come to the backyard right there and they jump around they're all oh, holding what flashlights heck? what's weird is they just kind of look like they're having like fun. hanging out yeah it's really weird it looks like this guy He's on the tramp or girl whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. oh oh that's the first thing that comes down that's hunter's elevator yeah the lego elevator the lego elevator look behind they're pushing the other the small stack over oh my god yeah. Bro, they just ripped the smaller towers off. They gotta be really strong. This tower is so strong, guys. It took us days to build this thing, and we've had like multiple people on it. We jump on. We've even had over twelve people sitting on this tower, and the thing doesn't even budge. So that's just so weird. Let's keep watching. So they push over the first Dude, stack. I don't know if I keep watching. This is getting me so mad right now. Just I mean, seeing that we could have been there to prevent this from happening, I would have definitely did something. Whoa, go back. Someone's on the roof. Right, I'm zooming in on that. Why that are is... you crawling? Is that the ghost? Dude, there's no way. Dude, that is so... Wait, so if that's in the attic, you have to be in the house to get to the attic. Yeah. So that means they went in the house at some point? What is going on? Dude, this is so... Maybe they're not still in the attic. I haven't checked the attic. I don't like going to the attic, Carter. You already know this. Yo, dude, this is freak... We, we need to go look in the attic. Let's go I down. haven't been home for a week. What if so they're still hey. here? It hasn't even occurred to me that whoever might have destroyed this broke into the house that they could even still be here. I do not like the sound of that, Carter. Uh, dude, it's sketchy. What if they're still like in the attic hey, right hey, now. Hey, I got a flashlight. The house has been so quiet and I haven't been here for a week, but these people might still be up there. Hey, before we go up, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button because this is really sketchy. You see anything? We're going for it. All right, guys, here is the attic. I'm realizing I haven't even been here for a really long time. Oh, yo, the door is still open. This is exactly where we this saw it. Where we it. saw it on the roof. And I don't think, what is this? Careful, Carter, careful, careful. Oh, oh shoot, they couldn't be back. Hello? I don't know, man. That is. I mean, all of these are open. I feel like something was going on up here. I think we're clear. I don't think anyone's up here anymore. All I'm saying is that we have proof. Yo, what is that? Is that? Is that one like monkey poop? Yo, what? This is so weird. Okay, I'm shutting these doors. This is disgusting. Yeah. All right, let's get out of here. I interrupt this vlog because I've got to go back into the attic because there is something that I missed when I was up here when I was filming. I figured out how they broke into the house. Right there, guys, look. Shattered window. Whoever was up here broke into the Team Rar house by shattering the window, climbing in through the attic, and then was over there caught on the security footage. That's insane. All right, so I think the attic is all clear, but we have proof that one of these people or things or ghosts, I don't know, well, something was in the attic for sure, and we have proof of it looking at the recording right here and okay and that's the chimney dude as well. that is that is creepy is it not it's so creepy that is sketchy looking uh, whoa oh. hold up did you have a picture yeah something look at that they try to push it into the pool into the gets, pool and it gets stuck so as we continue to play the footage you can see this dude this guy or girl or whoever i mean this monkey or gorilla look at that oh, oh my god so that's how they pulled over because there's no way this thing is so strong all right so they're pulling the rope which gets no. the entire tower no and look at them bouncing around look, look at how close it is to the house he ran out of the way because it was going to land on them this one right here is holding something. 
you see that? I think he's holding a camera. If he's holding a camera, that means they're filming a video. Why would someone film a video of them destroying this Why tower? Why would someone break into my house and destroy this tower? That doesn't make any sense to me. And then it goes black and that's it. Dude, that's do it. you think if you upload this, they're gonna come back if they see? I mean, I don't like giving people that, you know, come in and vandalize stuff attention, but I'm raising awareness because I want you guys to see this. I definitely don't want to encourage people to continue to do stuff like this. And whoever these people are, I hope you guys never come back. And you're permanently banned from the team or house, for sure. For sure. You cannot do something like this. Just like the Phoenix, this trampoline tower can rise from its own ashes. We are working on one of the craziest trampoline stunts you've ever seen. And Bailey, you think this is gonna work? Oh, 100%, y'all. You know, it's called reconstruction engineering. Just like a Phoenix, coming from the ashes, let's rock and roll. Three, two, one. Woo! Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> That was one of the scariest things I've done with a trampoline, and now Bailey says he wants to try. Let's climb up, and he should lift over the side. Oh my. Oh! Whoa! Oh! Oh! <laughs> yes! Oh! 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 He's it! Ah! Nicky Minaj! Guys, we rebuilt the tower. We're gonna jump off. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 oh my god. Woo! The trampoline tower might be destroyed, but it lives on in memory. Whoa! Because TRO.com is launching the craziest new merch. It's pretty soft. And it's really soft. And even I'm on the tower. Oh, right oh here. yo, yo, yo! Oh my god! Get to TRAR.com, go check it out! After reviewing the security footage, we have our suspect. So look at the footage. We know that it wasn't just one person. It was at least four people, maybe five, that did this. Behind me is my list of suspects that I think are the most suspicious people, starting with number one. Andrew. Andrew is the only one that knows the security system and he flew out of state the night that it happened. I think that's really sketchy, so he's up there as number one. Number two, Hunter also flew out of state and sent me the video saying that he had to get out of LA. Why did he have to get out of LA? Again, super sketchy. Up next, we got Stove and Ryan. I accuse them for just about everything because most of the time, it's usually them and I think they're sketchy, but I'm not really sure, so they're up over here. Next, we have Drage and Gunner. Both of them were here the night that it happened when nobody else was and they took some gym equipment which I said that they could have so I feel like they know something. Caleb is next on the list and he is exceptionally sketchy because he sent me this. My flight's at 5 so I gotta be at the airport no later than 4 but I can come to the crib around 10 or 11 o'clock. Bang, that's what he sent me. So he also fled the state after this happened. Of course, we have Liz and Denise, the girls, because they're always destroying, painting, everything. I wonder if this is them. I'm not sure, but it could be. And last but not least, we have our number one suspect, and that is... Bailey Payne. He was here before, during, and after, and has been here every single day, which I think is sketchier than fleeing the state and flying away. He was here the entire time and has even done a funeral. And to me, I think we need to have him at the top of our suspect list. These are my top suspects, and I have lie detecting equipment coming to the house tomorrow, so I'm gonna be putting all of these suspects to the test and finding out once and for all who destroyed this tower. Comment down below which one of these people you think might have done it. All right, so we're in the middle of producer right now. I'm on the phone my manager, YouTube got hacked. We're now a Tesla page. All the videos are deleted and gone. Everything we've ever posted. Look, this is the page right now. It's like a Tesla page and they're live. And so- Elon Musk hacked me. He's <laughs> live streaming on my YouTube channel. I'm able to stay logged in. He didn't push me out. There's no service in this building. So they couldn't, they didn't know this was happening. They had no phone calls, no service. So I ran down here. I'm like, Carter is now all Tesla. There's gotta be some dude like in India. Cause it's crazy. Cause early this morning, Bailey almost got hacked, but for crypto and PayPal. And so yeah. we're literally double getting scammed. Why would it be Tesla? It's like a live stream. It's so weird. Yeah. Live so Tesla weird. Weird. Master Can you go on the live still? Is it still going? Yeah, it's still live. It's right still now. live? What is it up? Some dude talking about it? <laughs> um, Elon, you've tweeted before. Um, Elon, Zoom call with Elon. Elon. 
<laughs> this is what's live right now. Elon hacked us, man. This is really weird. Yo, Hopefully they can just this revert. Is, is this like a past broadcast and someone's just like, it's like a pre-recording or something? I think so. You better eat one. Elon directly just said, you know what? We're gonna take this channel. Elon, if you're watching, if this is you, we all demand Teslas now for each of us. You already have a Tesla. <laughs> you always have two, yeah, so. Come on. <laughs> More to merrier. I'm trying to go in on the link you sent me to log in, but it says error. But I'm gonna enter my password. I'm not trying to get hacked again. I wonder where I got got. I mean, I haven't updated my password in a while. I've been kind of thinking about this. I think what happens is they they hack a bunch of stuff and they sell it, and then you can go on some weird black market website and like pay for this service of broadcasting what you want on a big channel, and they can just like click a button, boom, it goes. But they've collected the data like months ago potentially. What is going on? We got a helicopter hovering. And right next to it, we've got this huge drone just floating. What is even going on? Okay, I don't know what that is all about, but at this point, I'm just kind of looking over my shoulder because I swear that these helicopters and drones are following me. And I'm starting to think that it's some kind of stalker because how else would they know where I'm at? And why would they be that close just staring and filming with a camera? It's pretty wild. I, I really don't know what to think about it, I guess, but uh, guys, you comment down below. Am I being paranoid? Am I crazy? Or, you know, I almost, I'm almost at 10 million subscribers on my main channel. That's a lot of people. And it only takes one person to be crazy to be, you know, trying to spy or snoop on me. I don't know, guys. Uh, just let me know. Comment down below. Thanks. Who do you think did it, Stove? Someone from that, from this country. This so Elon, so Elon, well. hey, from Mars, yeah, yeah exactly. Not even on this planet. Not even on this planet. <laughs> on this planet. <laughs> I mean, clearly it's Elon on the channel right now, so it's got to be him. Yeah. So Carter got hacked on YouTube, and they're saying that it came from what's called LastPass, that has a lot of his bank info in it as well, and he's looking at some transactions and wasn't sure what some of them were for. Can you check on February second? And January 27th, there's a $75,000 and a $50,000 withdrawal. Can you check Carter's shorts? Okay, so shorts channel is here. Okay, shorts is fine. Yeah, sh shorts yeah, Carter's is, life. Carter's life is good Carter's too. Life's okay. yeah. This is spicy. Well. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. Not in a good way though. No. Is your guys' channel all right? I just checked. So the, uh, on this channel right now, they have the chat. There's nobody who's able to chat right now because the channel is, is in subscriber only mode if you've been a subscriber for, for 15 years or longer. That's way longer than Carter's channel's been around, so. So yeah, that nope. basically means our fans even though they know that it's hacked, they're not mm -hmm. gonna. There's 18,000 people watching right now. Are my videos up? They're all, um, only if you have the link. So if you go to your playlist, uh, so you can get unlisted. to it. Yeah, they're all listed. So if I go to playlists, I can, your playlists are still there and I can still watch the video. I just, and I can't with your costume yeah. right now during this whole thing. Like Stove's hair <laughs> during this situation and Andrew's hat, I just can't. <laughs> I just saw my reflection on my phone and I was like, this is a serious situation. Very serious. You got all this going on and then you have this guy. <laughs> So tell them to go in the channel and kill that live stream. Um, hey, so we want to see if you can go in and shut down that live video that's currently playing. Yeah, I'll try it. Okay. Uh, I'm just excited for that. Yeah. We got it's your new daily right there. Yeah, you have to, every time you drive that thing, you have to wear the hat though. Yeah. This one? Yeah. And, it's and the mustache. <laughs> I mean, it's a perfect fit. <laughs> it's already red, good for you. So, yeah, you're, you're gonna contrast it gray. You're gonna look good on that thing. I'm gonna He's, be on the hose. You're gonna be on the ladder when it's driving. Let's oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so light, the hose is gonna make me fly. <laughs> so, you don't even need that wig. Yeah. His blue hair falls off. Like, like nothing changes. His blue hair. <laughs> oh, I think it's dead. They killed it. The stream is down. The stream is down. Great, yeah. So, this is the scheme that they're running, though. They're trying to link to this page. They posted it in the live chat on that stream. Okay. And try to scam everyone. They think they're showing off that they're giving away Bitcoin, but you know that's fake. There Hopefully ain't no way. Be my Bitcoin. <laughs> oh. So I hope I can get back into that account. Yeah, totally a scam. To participate, you just need to send any amount of Bitcoin from 0.1 BTC to 50 uh, to the contribution address, and we'll immediately send back double the amount. Oh my gosh, that Jeez. is so legit. <laughs> if you pay money, you get twice as much. Stereotypical. Yeah, if anybody ever tells you you need to pay money to get money, it's 
a scam. Yep. 100% every time. Give us $100 and we'll pay you back a million. It's like, what? <laughs> Just yeah. give me the million then. <laughs> Sometimes no they'll like be like, oh, it's an investment. You're investing in this company, but it's instant return. Yeah. Instant. Instant. <laughs> but don't ever send money. Lesson of the day. Unless you're sending it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally worth it if you said it to me. <laughs> the truth, see my Bitcoin got hacked. My whole life savings is in my Bitcoin. Ooh. What's crazy is all my accounts say zero dollars. That doesn't look too good. That looks sketch. Yeah. All right, well, so a little bit of update and recap. Well, it sounds like the hacker was able to get access through Panos's email. Panos is my video editor. He's been editing most or not all the videos that you guys seen over the past like three years. And it seems like they were able to hack his email, not sure exactly how, and then his email had a level of access to the main channel and was able to, and luckily it was limited, so they weren't able to delete the channel, but they were able to mess it up still pretty darn good. And so we're working on restoring that. Then it doesn't, we're not out of the woods. It doesn't look like there is just a reset button that's gonna come tomorrow. We may never have access to that restore button. We might have to go in manually and there, who knows what kind of damage they did. They could be putting weird things in each of the descriptions. They could have adjusted end cards. There could be all kinds of different changes and stuff throughout of each one of these videos. And that could take us days and weeks and certainly hours to go through one by one. And all in the meantime, all the lost viewership, all the lost revenue, everything is going to be hugely, um, it's just gonna, it's gonna suck. It's gonna be really bad. All right, I'm calling my uh, YouTube manager. Tough day today, huh? Yeah, so what do you think? Are we gonna be able to hit a restore button or? The issue is that YouTube sometimes can do it and sometimes can't do it. So I'm waiting for them to say, yeah, we can do it, but in the interest of time, we shouldn't wait. We should just public every video, change the things, try to get it to where it should be. So the playlists I added uh, just showed up and the videos I made live are look like they're there. That's good, starting to see things populate. I'll, uh, I'll keep thinking of this. Okay, thank you. All right, buddy, I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, that was walking through with George, my channel manager and thumbnail artist. He works on all the thumbnails for the entire channel for the last about two or three years and he's helping me just get all the videos public again since they're all set to private or unlisted so it seems like our playlists are there the home page is there we're trying to get our profile picture back and the logos and all that it's just that it's a very tedious process and i don't know how the hacker was able to access things so quickly and take the whole thing down i mean you got to do every single video one at a time and let things load for 400 videos and this hacker was able to do it all like very quickly I'm hoping George is able to undo it as quickly as possible. But right now I'm basically just like wiped off the map. All right, Carter's life. Well, the whole hack situation is crazy. Channel is slowly being put back together. I am gonna call it a night and we're gonna pick this up tomorrow, but hopefully things start to look better tomorrow. So it's Hunter's first time being at the new Team Roar house. I thought this is the hotel that we just pulled in. I bet it does look like a hotel lobby. This thing is insane. It's got a fountain, it's got a bridge. Oh, they look, they cut the grass. There's literally like grass marks, looks so nice. It's like a star pattern. You know it's a fancy lawn, but there's a pattern in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so happy to be back at the new house and show Hunter, but I had no idea what was about to happen to us. All right guys, we have a problem. So we have the key, but we're basically, we're locked out because it unlocks the door, but the door handle is locked from the outside, even with the key, which is, I can't get yeah, right. How could they design a door like that? Yeah, Let me try it one more time. This doesn't make sense. I mean, it's doing that, but then it doesn't. Oh wait, this key will open up another door. Oh, well, would be my guess. Okay. If it doesn't work, guys, we need to go figure out how to break into the into the house. I'm starting to get worried at this point that we might actually be locked out all night. But I just remembered there's a second lock on the other side. I really hope this works, or it's gonna be a cold night. All right, so this is all. This is a uh, hunter's, you know, reaction to the new house and also the break-in. Sneaking into the new team room. Right I do have the key. I don't know if it goes to any other door in the house. I've never actually tried this before. I mean, a door could be open too. Yeah. 
No, but this will work, I think. Oh, they got the button on that one, too. Wait, what? Are, am I just doing this wrong? We're locked out two for two. <laughs> oh what is going on? Are you sure this is your house? <laughs> I mean, the key's moving it, but I need to explain. The door has a setting where you can have the handle permanently locked. And so for whatever reason, whoever locked the house also set those buttons to lock, which apparently, even with the key, completely locks you out. Which doesn't seem like a good design, but I think that's how these doors are working. There's only so many doors. Oh, there is a key on this door. This one will work well, for sure. Work. Yeah. This is the right key. Yeah, this is the right key. This should, this should be fine. Yes. yes. <laughs> the grand master doors. All right, now I'm just gonna pull it. There we are in. We broke into the house. Let's go. All right, now we can get Hunter's reaction. Check it out. No furniture, but a trampoline. I That's like exactly it. what I said. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, no, we have furniture. Look, come on. <laughs> Some plastic tables and chairs. It's from Walmart. Oh, wow. Enjoy the cookies. I ordered groceries to make tacos, burgers, grilled chicken, salads, sandwiches, etc. See you soon, Elena. Oh, it's so nice, Elena. It's so big. I can do laps. It's like set up like a track. You could fly around. your hoverboard in here. Guys, I found a haunted house. This thing is actually so haunted. Here's the old mailbox for it. We're now doing a little bit of urban exploring. Not even really urban, actually, like kind of middle of nowhere in the woods because we found this haunted structure. Super old. Hundreds of years. Who is that? We got up close to it. And this thing is bad. It is like falling apart, rotten. And inside, it's not even, we thought it was a cabin. <laughs> it's moonshine factory. It has a front door though, like they put on as a facade. Oh gosh. This is where these really got recorded. Look. <laughs> And fake windows. Oh, it's fake. It's all fake. Oh my what? god. Oh, well, this whole, this whole porch was really much like newer. I was wondering why behind it it looked like it was boarded up. It's a fake door. That's so funny. And fake everything. And they got a fake light right here. Here comes a neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I told you. Good. Happy New Year. All right, now we got a whole party, guys. People are rolling up on us. <laughs> Alright, happy new year! We got the whole Ripping. neighborhood hanging out. <laughs> those are just furnaces? Oh, what the heck. It's, it's literally a lot of cabinet. With mud holding it together. So yeah, they just had these like smokers running with heat and they just would drape stuff all up up there. They dried it. Luckily, we didn't find anything too scary and I was feeling pretty good about the haunted forest. But that quickly changed later that night when Matt sent me this text. Guys, I'm so freaked out right now. Who sent this? What do they want? Is it a prank or is there actually someone out here that wants us gone? Comment down below. We are deep on this end of the property and we're looking through and it's dark. There's a light. I thought it was someone trespassing at first, which doesn't make sense because we're, because no one would ever do that, but I think it's Andrew. Oh, there's the glimpse of the local. Andrew! Oh, there he is. I see him, he's on the gator. He's gonna try to pop through, he's close. If Andrew could make these connect, then we had this massive like two mile loop all the way through the new team our house. It would be so sick. Yeah, Yo, you're so close. I had no idea it connected right here. That's so dope. We got oh, a big watch. Oh no. <laughs> it pulled your watch off? <laughs> wow. We got a big log. We've been chainsawing at this big dead log that fell probably a hundred years ago, honestly. So they say if you count the rings on a tree, you can see how old it is. It looks like there's a... <laughs> there's a smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it's at least two years old. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to pull a prank. I'm gonna put cop sirens on on YouTube and roll up to the garage and see if they think it's like an actual cop. I don't know if it's gonna work, but let's try. I think I got you. <laughs> Did you think it was the cops for a second? I was like, what is that? Bit. It wasn't very loud. It wasn't yeah. We are in a sketchy warehouse. <laughs> yeah, well, this looks really sketchy. In the middle of the night. Looks like, like you guys are doing. Don't worry, officer. This is all legal. 
This looks very illegal. Yeah. <laughs>